Leo, welcome to Rising Vibration. This is for Leo, Sun, Moon, and Rising. I want my Leo back. You want to get your Leo back. You've recently split up. It was not an acrimonious split. It was not a highly negatively charged split. You have not reached the point of no return, and you would like to get your former Leo, Sun, Moon, or Rising partner back. So the Leo reading has kicked my but today, because I already shot it and I deleted it, I tried to shoot it again, but it didn't feel right. So I'm going to go ahead and take a fresh, fresh approach, but I will do a slightly different layout than all the other signs because I feel like it is necessary. We are going to look at how your Leo, Sun, Moon, or Rising, your former partner who you want back, you're still a fool for love and we all have been there, how they're feeling right now what they want right now, what you can do as a strategy to get them back, and if they have been able to move on, how's it going? So right now, the Leo is feeling quite aggressive. And this was picked up in the first reading that I accidentally deleted. Um, this is Fortuna with the ice queen and this feels more to me like memories they're remembering a lot about the relationship and their life before but it feels like in the far past they are very much so burdened by their memories of, of your relationship um, and it feels like in life in general, they're very distracted with uh, their thoughts and perhaps portraying or feeling like a victim. This is the ice queen, she's crying. Feeling like a victim or like they were done wrong. Like someone was very hard on them or very mean to them. They're kind of in this victim mode. So, Let's see what they want. This is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising. I want my Leo back. What do they want right now? We have Major Arcana, the Hangman. We have Major Arcana Balance. And we have the Four of Coins. And this is coming across like they want their just due. They are going to almost cut off their nose to spite their face to prove that they were done wrong. They want to they want to prove this damage that they perceive, assign blame. It's like record keeping or keeping tabs, like tit for tat. Like they've been keeping tabs of everything and they're not ready to let this go just yet. They want their just due even if that means recognition of the wrong that they feel like was done to them. Perhaps looking for apologies, but heartfelt apologies. So this starts to tell you what your strategy can be if you would like to get your Leo, Sun, Moon, or Rising back. They do, I'm gonna keep that. Because they do want this Apology, heartfelt apologies. So we're going to look at this in a second, what this is, because it slid out. We have the Five of Swords, we have the High Priestess, and we have the Five of Cups. So this is really holding on to what they feel are past lights. They feel like they've been done wrong, and they want this recognition of what was done to them or taken from them especially if in the separation it was a more formal contract agreement meaning you were married and they have to give up some assets and they're not really ready to move on if, until they feel like this has been fixed or re rectified but it doesn't it doesn't seem that they have to get this money back if it's if this is about money it feels more like they want to have an apology or they want to have a recognition of everything they did for you. It's kind of this very arrogant 
uh, ego-based energy, which would not be untypical for Leo. I'm not trying to put any Leos down, guys. Come on. I'm just saying it just it seems like this. They want a recognition. And they're going to wait for this. Let's see what else is coming through. What you can do. We have the Ten of Wands, we have the Moon, and we have the Nine of Pentacles. Wow, this is pretty heavy because if you really want to get back with your Leo, it's like you will have to put your it's like you will have to put your pride aside you will have to put your pride aside and perhaps apologize for something that you don't even remember you don't even recall or that you recall differently than how they see it now it's like you will have to just put your pride aside and start to apologize and say you're sorry repetitively to, to to win them back or if you don't really want them back you just want to have an easy relationship and interaction it, it's like this is what it will take a lot of apologies on your part even if you feel like they're not justified or they're not warranted so let's see finally if anything else is coming out we have the seven of wands we have the major arcana lovers and finally we have the page of pentacles and this feels again like um a power struggle in terms of who's right and who's wrong and who did what and someone recognizing what's most important to them being right being proven right or gaining back a friendship or gaining back that love what's more important now this is a hard one because <laughs> what's right is right you know it's 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 never a good feeling when someone is rewriting history especially that you remember differently but maybe that's the whole point that you agree to disagree but you cannot say that to the Leo. Now we're talking strategy here. You cannot say that to the Leo. If you say, uh, we can agree to disagree, this is how they're going to feel. They're going to feel like you got one up on them. That's not going to win you anything. What's going to win you with them is apology, heartfelt apology, sincere apology, and a lot of, I'm counting these pinnacles like apology. It's not money, guys, because somebody was saying pinnacles mean money, please. If you want literal interpretations, get a book and you can read your own tarot cards. This is apologies. And a lot of them. And heartfelt. Putting your pride aside to keep the peace and to break down that wall break down the wall you're gonna to have to put your pride aside what's more important getting him or her back and then trying to work work it out in terms of once this is addressed you can't go back on it anymore <laughs> you won't be able to say oh I take that apology back it's not gonna work like that with uh, Leo right now but really trying to kind of put in a framework so that whatever this is doesn't happen again it has to be very, very clear um, what the expectations will be if you move forward, if you're able to patch things up. It has to be really clear to everyone what's expected and what the boundaries are. Because you would never want to be in this situation again where you feel like you're giving in and apologizing for something that you didn't do. So that's what I have for those of you who would like to reconcile with your former Leo, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, guys, and I'll see you next month. Bye-bye.